Okay, well, you're here, and I'm here, so I uh, went to the post office today. I had to go out, and uh, my daughter got her car stuck in the mud, so I had to go out and and, uh, and get her out of the mud. So it's just it's just a matter of, of just rocking it back and forth and getting it out of the mud. So she just, she's not used to that, so uh, she's actually dog-sitting somewhere. So I went and, uh, and, and helped her there with that, and then... Uh, and then I, you know, of course, I had to stop the post office and and drop some things off. But before I went and did any either of those, you know, I was going out, so I had to stop by the niche. So I went to the niche, and I had a hard time trying to find anything. But I did find some things. Not anything real exciting, but I got these glasses. There was uh, three of them that they had there. I haven't looked them up or anything. I bet all I bought was a a bag of glassware for three dollars. That's all I got at the niche, and it was a three dollar bag, and it had these. And they are heritage. There was there was only three of them, so I, and I don't I know I don't have any more of those, but I may just take them over to the shop now and see if I can sell them over there, or you know if they sell on eBay, I'll, uh, I could do that too. So um, anyway, and then the main thing that I, the reason why I bought it was because I, I usually will pay up to fifty cents a piece for cannon jars for this for, for the especially this one these ones. So uh, they had four of them. So the bag was three dollars, so right there was two bucks. So I just had to find a few more things to to stick in there to hopefully try to pull some more cash out. So, uh, yeah. So there was those two, three, four, and then just to kind of round it off, I, I bought. These were in the Dallas. These were in also in the in the uh, three dollar bag. So it's all because that's all I got at the niche. Just a couple of big couple of big beer mugs. Um, the shop is in a college town. There's two bars down the street, like two doors down. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking maybe I sh could possibly sell these. These big old, they're heavy, they're old heavy ones. They're, they're, I don't know if they're not old, they're, uh, this one was, uh, it says made in Mexico. It, it's nobody special on there, but it's a nice heavy one. And this was, this is an anchor hawking one, so. I don't know if you can read that or not. But yeah, that's anchor hawking. I was upside down. It was anchor hawking, though. So, we'll see. I can. See what happens with those. Even if I only put like, you know, if I put a buck a piece on those and sell them for a buck a piece, I'll, I'll put. I think I'm only gonna put two bucks a piece on them, but that'll pay for the whole bag of stuff plus a buck, and then these will go into my into my other cannon jar stuff that I'm gonna be selling when I get. Well, I actually needed one to make a dozen, so I'll be listing those on Facebook. Hopefully, sell them. I usually sell them for five bucks a dozen. There's no lids, no seals, so maybe I could do better than that. I don't know, but around here, I don't. I'm not sure. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, that was it for for the uh, the stuff from Goodwill, not Goodwill from the niche, and I went to the Goodwill because they were moving, and they're moving to the store that I bought for them. Um, and uh, they're gonna be they're gonna be moving this weekend, so everything except the clothing and the soft lines was all was all uh, was all half price. So I wasn't I didn't wasn't really finding anything, and I just I just kept digging and digging and digging and and digging. I ended up spending fourteen dollars there, so I'll show you in a minute what I got. Well. I guess it wasn't actually a minute for you. It was a minute for me because I had to take out those glasses out to the kitchen to put by the sink to wash them up. So, but for me it was it was a, a minute or so. So anyway, so I bought I bought three boxes, three boxes of Christmas ornaments. They had them for a dollar ninety nine. I got them for a buck because it was half off. And they they all look like they're all looking like that. And I'm only gonna put two bucks two bucks a box on them over over at the shop, and see if I can sell them. You know. So uh, what do you think? I don't need much over there. If I you know, 
I make rent. If I if I make if I sell three dollars a day, I make rent. So you know, that's all I'm really I'm not really trying to I'm not gonna try to make a kill in there because it's a small town and and stuff. So anyway, so I got those and I picked up this a mind flex game. The box is pretty bad, but the they had this for nine ninety nine, but so it was half off today, so I got it for five bucks. Um yeah, there's that um again. Dog on it. The parts in here, I could probably sell the whole thing and maybe get like 15 bucks. But, maybe 20 bucks. But I can just sell, there's a headset in here that I can sell for 15, 16, 17 bucks. And then there's some other parts in. They never used the parts, so they're still in the plastic bags. So I don't think they ever used it. They might have opened it, but they didn't use it. So, you know. And then the, the other parts that... I'll probably just get, I'll get rid of the rest of it. So I have done okay with these over the years. So we'll give her another shot. And then what else did we get? Uh, hold on. It's up here. There we go. I got this 1982... Ben Cooper, Spider-Man costume. They had 79 cents on it. How it made it through Halloween, I have no idea. If I would have seen it before Halloween, I would have bought it then. There's Spider-Man. Anyway, they had 79 cents on it. Now I got it half off, so... So, uh... There it is, man. I got it half off, so... This actually says 1978 on it, but the box says 82. So, uh, who knows? They might have been making this, using this same thing for that whole time. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, Ben Cooper used to be really good. This looks like I should be able to get probably 10 to 15 bucks for it, I think. Maybe more. I don't know. But, of course, I, it's probably just going to go... I have another old Ben Cooper. I think it's Mr. Spock. I have another old Ben Cooper down, downstairs that I keep forgetting to put up at Halloween time. So Halloween's just passed. So I might list it anyway and just see. I mean, collectors are collectors any time of the year. So I might, uh, I might just do that and go ahead and list it. But anyway, it was, so it was 80 cents, 79 cents, so I got it for 40 cents. I think that's a sweet deal. And then Sweet Pickles. I got a Sweet Pickles book. If you get a bunch of these, you will make decent money for them. So if you see a whole lot, a whole bunch of Sweet Pickles books, you can see, I don't know if you're familiar with them there, it says Sweet Pickles on it. There's two different sizes. There's These are smaller ones, and then there's there's some larger sizes books. These are from, like, the 80s, I think. Let's see. Uh, and this says copyright 1977. A weekly, it's a weekly reader. Um, they're still pretty popular, so... Oh, Mama's home, so... After that, the dogs are probably going to start barking soon. And I bought another one of these, because, you know, I sell these in lots, so... The great illustrated classics. I, I put them up in lots, so I have a few other ones. And then this is uh, this is from Gabe. This is Gabriel Toy Company, 1976. It's a, a gun belt. All right, I'm gonna pause it now because the dogs are barking. So. Okay, I'm back again. Just had to spend some time visiting with my wife and letting the dogs calm down. So she left again. She's got another cleaning job. She got the scam to it. She got the scam. I didn't know it. She was telling me today. Uh, she had a guy text her about her cleaning business. He said he bought a house here in town. And uh, he needed somebody to come in and clean it. So, you know, they set up a date and everything to clean it. And he wanted her to come in and, and do a deep clean one time. And then set it up for bi-weekly cleaning. So she'd come in bi-weekly and clean. And uh, so then... He says to her that in order for her to get the key, her management company needs 
basically needs a deposit. So what he's going to do is he's going to send her a check for $2,000 and um, she can cash it and then from that check give the $1,500 deposit to the, to the management, to the people who manage the property for him. And then they'll open the door for her and she can go in and clean. How's that sound to you? Um, it, it, maybe it's legit. Maybe. I don't know. But I told her no. No, that's not happening that way. No, if he wants to send you a check to give to them. Oh, well, that won't work. He, they, they, that won't, it won't work that way. And they won't let her in the house if they don't have the, 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 the deposit in cash. But anyway, so that was... It, it's a scam, obviously. So anyway, back to the back to the thrift talk. It's the Baltimore Orioles checkers, and basically it's checkers with little batting helmets. And you'll never guess who the Baltimore Orioles have as the team they're playing against in checkers. You have a little Baltimore Oriole helmet. Let's see if I can get it. There you can see the little, there he is. And then they're playing the New York Yankees. Of course they are. So, it's the Yankees against the Orioles in the Orioles checker set. It was 50 cents, so I got it. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, I can definitely put that in the shop and, and get a couple bucks for it, you know. I don't think they're selling for that much online. I looked. I was. I did look them up. They're not really doing sound that much, but I could probably just sell the batting helmets out of it. So, and I know I said I was never going to do this again, but it was 50 cents. So I bought seen it. It was 50 cents, you know, but that's not, I didn't buy it for the game. Honestly, I didn't buy it for the game. I bought it for the tokens. Cause you gotta see this. You gotta see the tokens in here. If you've never seen this game before, i never seen it either, but I opened it up to see. Again, it was only 50 cents, so... Alright, we got... Headphones. How about it? Pretty cool, huh? Little headphones. I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna sell the... So, so I'm just gonna sell the tokens out of these. Um, out of it, and I'll just get rid of the rest of the game, but... And then, there's a little piano. It's a little... A baby grand or whatever, whatever they're called. How cool is that? It must be for Elton. That's probably Elton's. Okay, and then got us a little cassette player boombox. How about it? Nice, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, and then the last one is this guitar, man. Check it out. Is that a cool little token or what? Somebody will buy these. Somebody will buy these tokens. There's no doubt about it. There's somebody will buy them. Not even knowing that they come from seeing it. I'm just going to sell them. Not even, not even, I'm going to sell them just as a little pewter, pewter-ish, little, I guess it's pewter. Maybe it's not even pewter. I don't know. A little metal, a little metal thing there. And then I can always, uh, I don't know if this is the, the right eight-sided die or not. That's probably not the same as the other ones, but the six-sided is. That's the same as all the other Cena games, so I think I already have that. So I might keep those, and put those in, but all the other stuff I ain't keeping it. I'll look it up. I didn't bother to look it up at all, but I'll look it up and see. But I don't I don't think any of them are, are going to be worth the time that I've put into it and kind of listing on them. So those are different, but but those tokens are just neat, so... Uh, well, you know, music tokens, they, they, sh they should do all right, shouldn't they? I would think. You would think. I don't know. Maybe not. So, okay, what else is there here? All right, I got five of these. Santa Claus glasses. They're from 1984. They're Coca-Cola. See, it says Coca-Cola right there. And they're, uh, they're from McCrory's. I don't see it on here, though, but it was on... Somewhere it was on the other one. Well, it's not on this one. This one does not say McCrory's on it. But I know. I know they said McCrory's. I 
So, yeah, there it is. See, why is it not there? It isn't. It's not on this one. But it is on this one. And it's in black there. I don't know if you can see it. MC. There we go. McCrory. So they're from a Crory store. It's 1984. I got five of them. Somebody sold a set of four. They were a little different than this. Same deal. They got 25 bucks for them. So they're they're a little. The, the Santa was a bit different. It had Santa instead of Santa with a bag. It had Santa jumping in a in a uh, chimney. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put them up for 20. I'm gonna put them up for 25 and see what happens. Hey, you never know, right? Anything's possible. All right. So. There was five of the, and then I got this. I got this. I'm gonna take this over to the shop. Uh, I'll put it for sale too, but um, I just gotta get tightened up. Just a little, it's a little cup tree, my little, you know, mug stand, and uh, good wood made in Taiwan. Where is, where is? There it is. Tighten it up a little bit. There we go. So yeah, it's just a little cut. It's not nothing great. It was 99 cents, half off, 50 cents. So I grab that. And it's for nothing else. Yeah, I'll just you know I, I'll look it up too. Maybe I don't know. Maybe somebody wants a cup tree, but it'd be nice over at the shop. So that's that'd be what I, I'll use it for. And then I grab these. These were uh, 99 cents each. They are Tollware Tollware uh, candlestick holders. I don't know if Tollware is real, real exciting anymore, but for 50 cents a piece, you know, after that, well, they're, you know, 99 cents each, but they're half off, so I don't think I, I don't think I can really go wrong on that, probably, probably not, anyway, you think? And another, another can and jar, that was, that was 40 cents, so I put that out there, clean that up, and I'm pretty sure this is, oh yeah, I got these, I got a couple of these. 50 cents each um, because I have some other ones so uh, I can just that should give me enough to put up another group just to add another lot to the listing that I already have up I think I have four I think I have four of them and I have this this size I have this size listed in groups of six pretty sure I have this size I have the bigger size the small ones the tiny ones the um, the cordials they they sell better than the bigger ones. These ones are probably going to take a while to sell. If they do, I don't know. There's a lot of them out there. So the listing's there. It's up. Let's just forget it. Let's see what happens. So, just another one of them glasses. I picked up this pack of cards, a deck of cards. It's, uh, I know you can't really see it. It's a really crappy picture of whatever. It's just a house in the background. It's from uh, the Lodge. From the Lodge Allenberg, the Lodge Allen, no, the Lodge Allenberry, on the yellow breeches, beaches, something, boiling, boiling, boiling springs, Pennsylvania. So, I thought maybe that might have some interest, some local interest to somebody that uh, maybe lives there in that area. So I thought I, I don't I have no idea if I but you know that was just it was fifty cents for a pack of cards so and that was it then that that's it we're out I'm all done I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't I didn't have anything else so that's it that's it for my for my my haul for today thanks for watching and again uh, if you watch this far you might as well hit the subscribe button so. You might as well. So anyway, all right, you take care, have a good day, and keep listening. Bye.